guys it's Rachel welcome back to my channel so today I decided it's right after record store day I have just newly introduced a new Taylor Swift vinyl into my collection and I am so excited about it I just wanted to sit down and film a vinyl collection for you guys I just want to say this is not to brag I've been collecting for years and I will tell you where I got them and when I got them if I can remember and yeah, they're in no particular order. I actually just pulled them out of my crate that I keep all my vinyls in. So they're not in any order, but I will start off with the seven inch vinyls and I have four of them. So I'm so excited. I am so excited. So with all that being said, let's just jump into this collection video. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start off with the seven inch vinyls. So the first one I have is the Taylor Swift Me vinyl in 7 inch and this is what it looks like. There were many different variations on her site. This is actually the only 7 inch vinyl that I have unwrapped. So this is the only one I'll be able to show you the disc of. It's so cute and little. Oh my goodness. Um, this is what it looks like. It's adorable. So dainty and cute. So this is just the feature of Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco on me. It was sold as a single vinyl. Okay, next up I have Taylor Swift me featuring Panic at the Disco, but this one is the live version from the Billboard Music Awards and it has the rehearsal audio. So Taylor dropped seven inch of the studio recording and then when they did the Billboard Awards she had these as well. This has never been unwrapped. You can see it has this shiny plastic on it, but I can imagine it's adorable. Okay, so the next one that I have is the 7 inch cardigan vinyl. I highly, highly regret not buying the Cabin in the Candlelight vinyl. Um, it's also a 7 inch. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on my Taylor like wish list vinyls, that would be awesome because there's a couple I don't have that I am desperately searching for for a good price. And they are very expensive in resale, so I'm like, mmm. I'm not willing to spend the coin on it, but yeah, there are definitely some that I am definitely trying to seek out. But for now, this one is the Cardigan 7 inch vinyl, and it has this picture of Taylor. It's adorable, and it has a songwriting memo. I've never opened it, and I there's a couple in here that I haven't opened because they are like collector's pieces, so yeah. The back has a note from Taylor and it says, thank you for all the love you've shown folklore. It's been the most magical creative adventure of my life thus far and I wanted to share with you a recording of how it all started. The first recording I ever sent to Aaron for Cardigan, including the original lyric and lots of rambling. I love you guys so very much, T.S. She's so cute. And then my latest addition to the collection is the seven inch clear record store day the lakes vinyl i have not undone it because it was limited to one per customer and i this is a collector's piece for me and i have as you guys will see i have folklore on vinyl so i was like you know what i'm gonna leave it wrapped for now one day i may open it but for now it's staying sealed we are into the full size vinyl so the first one i have is the speak now vinyl it's not taylor's version yet but we are manifesting and it just looks like this and it is the single it's the black disc the inside looks like this i got this from i believe barnes and noble i actually got a lot of like my classic like taylor swift vinyls from barnes and noble this one however lover is pink and blue and it looks like this in the inside and i got this one at target i don't think it's available any longer on the target site but i do see it all the time like on ebay so definitely if you're looking for this it's so beautiful you guys i'll show you like you can see like the blue and the pink i personally love the blue i think it's beautiful this one was a find i remember i was so excited to find this this was my last at the time vinyl that i needed to complete my taylor collection um i remember i just happened to pop into barnes and noble one day and i found this 
and I scooped it up so quick it was the last one and it's the Taylor Swift Fearless Platinum Edition vinyl and it's just the black disc and it looks like this on the inside I love this picture and then the back just looks like this this was my most I'd say exciting find other than of course like the lakes which I feel like was the most hard to get question mark for me personally it was the most hard to get because I waited in line for eight hours for it. So next up I have Evermore and this Evermore is the green one from Target and I you guys will see I have another copy of Evermore. This is the classic red Taylor Swift stolen version and it is just the black disc and I do believe if I'm not mistaking and if I'm not drawing a blank I also got this one at Barnes & Noble if you guys are vinyl collectors definitely I recommend going and scouring through your Barnes & Noble you never know what you'll find so next up you will see my first folklore vinyl and this one is actually the one that was sold at Target okay you guys so next up I have fearless Taylor's version and I actually got this one off her site this is the disc that is like a muted yellow I'd say I'm not gonna take it out fully but that's what it looks like and yeah I PS I don't always handle my records like this I pulled them out of a crate that I keep all my records in just for this video so um, no one get mad at me trust me I know how to handle a record but I'm not showcasing it very well in this video so next up I have the classic in the trees folklore cover and that's really what they call it and this disc i got this one from my local record store when they dropped the classic in the trees cover because i love the folklore cover and i wanted it specifically for my vinyl collection because she did a lot of different color variations for folklore and i knew that i wanted the classic cover in my collection so Next up, I'm ashamed to say I have never opened this one. I have yet to listen to Red Taylor's version on vinyl, but this one I got at Target, as you can see. I am so excited that I have this, and I am so excited to unwrap it and listen to the 10-minute version of All Too Well on it. Personally, I think that we should get an exclusive 7-inch vinyl of 10-minute version of All Too Well for next record store day, but who am I, you know... Who am I to say what we should get, but I think that would be absolutely iconic and I would be camping out again. So I'm so excited to listen to this. And I got that, I believe, when the album came out. So, I'm so excited. That one was actually hard to find. I had to go to a couple different targets to find it. Next up is the picture disc for Christmas Tree Farm. Now this one's very special to me because on one side it has the live version from Jingle Ball from her birthday and I was in that audience so that's very special. I always play this one around Christmas and I think it's so beautiful. Okay, next up I have 1989, the classic, just black and I got this one I believe at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> So next up, I have the Hide and Seek edition. I believe it was number six in the color variation for all the colors that she did for Folklore. And this one's like a beautiful, beautiful periwinkle color. And it looks like that. Um, I don't want to take them out all the way because it's sometimes hard to get them back in their slot properly. And yeah, I think it's so beautiful. I remember I was sitting in my car in the five below parking lot like trying to decide which one I wanted because I was trying to limit myself to like only one and it was really difficult. <laughs> so next up this was given to me as a gift and I'm forever grateful. This is the Reputation vinyl and it's the picture disc. It's the picture disc and it's beautiful it really is um, it was given to me for Christmas in I believe 2018 was it 2018 yeah this one you know what I'm gonna leave the last two as my prize possessions because they are um, this is Evermore <laughs> another copy of Evermore but this one is the one from Target 
and it's red and evermore if you guys don't know means so much to me so i was like i need the green one but i also need the red one from target so i have both variations <sighs> let me just let me just preface this these two are my prized possessions i can't believe that i have these in my collection so these two that i'm about to show you are from record store day in 2018 I didn't even know, it didn't even click with me that it was record store day. My mom and I just simply decided to walk into the record store day and these were there. We had no idea that these were going to be available. This was a fluke chance and earlier when I said that, oh, like maybe the lakes was like my most you know, sought after, like my most difficult to find, like that's because I camped out eight hours for that final if you guys want to watch that whole process i'll link that video down below but um these were like an easy find that should have not been easy to find if that makes any sense i have the 1989 vinyl that i've never unboxed because the one that i play is the black edition that i have from barnes and noble that i just showed you it is 257 out of 3,750 of the pink splatter vinyl. Um, I can't believe I have this. I was going to buy Fearless as well, but they were sold out of that one. But what in the world? <laughs> I, was, I had the best brain cells that day, but it gets better. My very last vinyl that I have in my collection that has not been featured in this collection yet. <sighs> I did open this one so I can show you guys this one. But this is the Taylor Swift debut album, Record Store Day 2018, in the blue vinyl. Like are you kidding i do spin this one because like i said i did not have the taylor swift debut album and in hindsight i probably should have left that one boxed as well but you know what it's okay um i i can't believe i have those two i would say out of my entire taylor swift album collection those are the two that everybody's like you have those and I can't believe that I have them. That was just the most, like, it was just destined to happen. It was so random, and it was not expected. You know what? I feel like now that I'm talking about it, I do remember saying to my mom, hey, it's record store day, but I feel like we went in there with, like, no initiative because we knew it would be sold out, and then they had them. Like, you know how sometimes you talk it out, and you're like, oh, wait, but yeah, we didn't go in there like seeking it out. Like we knew it was record store day, but we didn't go seeking it out because we knew like it was potentially sold out. But, but they still had some. I have been collecting Taylor Swift vinyls for a really long time now. So definitely this is not trying to brag. I am just trying to show you guys my collection. I love watching these videos. So this was definitely fun to make for me. If you guys want to see my Taylor Swift vinyl collection wish list definitely let me know as well because there's definitely a list on my phone for it and yeah you guys i hope this video entertained you in some way and i sincerely hope i see you yes you in the next one bye guys